Well, for a third straight season, the Pac-12 championship belongs to the Stanford Cardinal as they come on the road and sweep past the 25th ranked Washington State Cougars on senior night. But what a battle that we had through all three sets. We knew it was going to be a defensive battle and she is our Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week for a reason. The senior Morgan Hentz all over the place like she is every match. We've sort of stopped even falling over ourselves <laughs> right. when she makes plays because they're just the norm now. But she makes so many good uh, attacks at the ball, swings, with her arms, gets them out there, takes the ball and puts it up into Jenna Gray's hands so often that Stanford's able to close out every rally like that. Just like that, a perfect example of what Hens does for the Stanford Cardinal. And Plumber wasn't the only one who had a good night. night. Andreana Fitzmorris was fantastic. Fitzmorris was efficient. Uh, she didn't swing at that many balls, but she made do with every single swing and got something out of it. Nine kills on the night with only one air very, very good off two feet, off one feet, she can do it all. Yeah, she did it all, and somebody else who always does it all, her fellow senior, Catherine Plummer, really stepping up in sets two and three and leading this team to victory. A little bit of a slow start for her in the first set, but sets two and three, like you said, she stepped it up, she became more efficient, she hit it harder and harder, and when she got blocked or made a rare error, she came back even stronger and then helped out on the block whenever she could and made her presence felt at the net on both sides of the net. Yeah, took care of business, a match best 21 kills, seven digs, three blocks for Catherine Plummer as the Cardinals sweep past the Washington State Cougars to clinch an outright third straight Pac-12 championship. Stanford will wrap things up at home on a Friday against the Cal Bears. Washington State heads to Seattle to take on the Huskies on Saturday.